Have you ever felt like you were a failure? Like you weren't as far along as everyone else? As if you weren't able to keep up with everyone? You struggle so much to stay on float. Struggle to maintain your position at work. Struggle to complete all your chores. Struggle to manage all your expectations. You should have a partner by now. You should be married by now. You should have a house by now. As a millennial, it's easy to feel like you're much further behind everyone else. The fact of the matter is, we live in a highly competitive world, more competitive than ever, and that means that we are forced to constantly work harder and harder and harder. While 50 years ago, you didn't have to put in half the effort that you have to do today in order to do well at your job or in order to uh, be successful or in order to be able to afford a house or in order to be able to maintain a relationship. Nowadays, it's extremely difficult to manage all of these tasks. The truth is, I think often our work life makes it almost impossible to maintain a relationship with other people. We have to work so hard and we're so stressed that it's hard to let go and think about anything else. And so many feel like they have no time for relationships, no time for love or for connections or for close friendships. In the past, it was easy to take time away to hang out with somebody else, to have a good conversation with somebody. But nowadays, it feels like you never have the time. You're constantly exhausted. Nowadays, when you get home from work, you have no energy to do almost anything but just sit and watch television. You're dead, you're burnt out, but you're still forced to keep going. The truth is, many people operate while burnt out and continue to work while burnt out. While some people are forced to take sick leave and to uh, take time away and become extremely anxious, other people somehow manage to find a way to keep going and to keep pushing even though they have very little steam left in their engine. And so you find that, you know, because you're burnt out, because you're exhausted, it's harder than ever to stay afloat. Because you're burnt out, you have to put in twice the effort of anyone else to remember things, to keep up with every appointment, to manage every chore, to complete every task. You have to work overtime, you have to do all these invisible extra tasks that other people don't have to do. And you have this feeling like you have to do more than everyone else in order to just achieve as much as anyone else. The truth is, the more we do, the more we force and push other people to do things as well. I remember at my old job in customer service, We'd have people that outperformed everyone else. Some people at customer service were able to do twice the amount of phone calls, twice the amount of emails, twice the amount of chat messages of anyone else at office. These people were complicated and complimented and highly rewarded for everything they did. They were the teacher's pets of the workplace. But because of them, everyone else felt forced to work even harder. While salary stayed the same, Performance had to constantly go up. You had to deliver more, answer more, do things faster, do things better. Your emails had to have better quality and everything overall has had to increase and increase and increase. And despite how much you put into things, there was very little extra effort or reward for what you did. Salary increases were sparse. You would do and work really hard, but you'd never get promoted because and then there was a limited amount of promotions left to give. Only a few people could get a higher up position, where only a few people could get that extra salary, could manage. And even if everyone put in their best effort, very few actually won the lottery and got the chance. The truth is, we tend to say that if you just work hard enough, things will work out. But the truth is also, if you work too hard, you're going to be more stressed. You're going to feel more exhausted. You're going to have less energy and through this as well if you push yourself too hard that's gonna be a and that's gonna happen at the price now millennials tend to compare their own success to the success of other people we compare and contrast we compare how we dress to how other people dress we compare our social media profile to other people's social media profiles and we do all these things to get an idea of who's the happiest who's doing the best who's got their new house who has the shiniest place who has the most good-looking boyfriend or girlfriend and we do all these things and we feel like we're never good enough. We're never at the level we should be. This kind of perfectionism can be deeply damaging because it often leads to a narcissistic self-absorption. We're so focused on meeting external standards that we are constantly preoccupied with our own emotions and our own work and our own performance. We just want to feel seen and we just want people to notice us. We do anything we can to post our pictures online to get 
other people to recognize us, to make people listen to us, to make our boss notice us. And we do so even if it means we have to cut off other people, cut down other people, push other people down so that we can stand out. And we're all just trying so hard to get ahead. So we're literally rats climbing on top of each other. And in so, such a person, in such a society, it's very easy to feel a sense of entitlement. I should be further along. I should be doing better. I should be getting more than anyone else. And it's unfair that other people are getting things when I have done so much. To understand the relationship between perfectionism and narcissism, I recommend you check out my other video on the topic. And besides that, what I hope that we can do is we can open up a conversation. We can open up a conversation about how we approach work and working life today. Because ultimately, it's a deeply toxic situation. Nobody likes it. Nobody's happy with it. Everyone just does it because everyone else is doing it. Nobody feels like they can take a break because if you take a break, then other people are going to get ahead. If you stop to rest, other people are going to catch up. If you take a moment for yourself to rest, to do what you want, other people are going to get further along than you and you're going to look worse. You're going to feel shame. You're going to feel guilty. You're going to feel like you're not good enough. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that we can change society and change our expectations and change how we look at ourselves and other people so that we are more loving, more self-accepting, more understanding. And I hope that we stop pushing ourselves so hard and that we start being more kind to ourselves. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.